Good morning, and welcome to another week of Orange Baptist Church Children's Virtual Sunday School. I have a question for you this morning. Have you ever wondered about how your parents got your name? Maybe they've told you that story. Maybe, um, maybe you have a family name that was your dad's name or your grandfather's name. Um, I have here a book, and my husband and I used this book when we were thinking about naming our kids and we looked through it and we looked through it and we read over names and we looked at meanings and um, it was really important that we chose names that had meanings that were important to us. And so I was thinking about you guys this morning and I was thinking about your names and the meaning of them and I was just going through some of the kids that we know in church and I was going, hmm, I wonder what Elliot means and I got out my book and I looked it up and it was like, Elliot means the Lord is my God. And I looked up um, Holton, and Holton means that it is a homestead by the Holt or by the wood. And Sarah, which I knew this one because I have a daughter named Sarah, means princess. And Betsy is also, also means princess because it comes from um, both that and Sarah come from Elizabeth. Uh, Landon means open grassy meadow. Lawson means son of Lawrence. Douglas means a dark river or stream. Hannah means gracious. Morgan means sea warrior. William means determined guardian. Carly means little and womanly. Grace means graceful. Now I know there's a bunch of you um, out there who I might not have named your name, I might not have looked up the um, meaning, but maybe ask your mom or dad, maybe they know the meaning. If not, you can get on the computer and you can Google the meaning of your name. It's so cool that each one of our names has a meaning behind it. Well, guess who had no choice in what they were gonna name their baby? That's right, Mary. Mary is um, one of their, our main characters in the Jesus story. You have Mary and Joseph, and we know that Mary had baby Jesus, but she did not choose the name Jesus for him. She didn't have a book that she could look in for a meaning. Guess what? Guess how she figured out how to name Jesus. She had an angel named Gabriel appear to her, and he told her that not only are you gonna have a son, but you're gonna name him Jesus, which means the Lord saves. Whoa, what an incredible meaning. His name means exactly what he came to do for you and for me and for everyone. He loves us so much that he came to save us. And that's what his name means. I love that about this story. I love that everything has to do with his love for us and what he came to do for us. Let's talk to God and thank him for that. God, thank you so much for giving us Jesus and thank you for sending your son to save us from our sins so that we could be with you forever. I just pray for everyone over this Christmas holiday that they have a wonderful time where they feel blessed and I just pray that we will be able to bless others as well with your love. Thank you, in Jesus' name, amen. All right, well, I hope you have a great Christmas and I can't wait to see you next week. Bye-bye. Okay, so this week for our craft, we're going to do a simple nativity scene where you can practice drawing this all on your own. Um, on, all you need is a marker and a piece of paper, and if you want some crayons to color it in, you can. But underneath it, we're gonna write the name Jesus, and we're gonna write the name meaning. I'm sorry, we're gonna write the meaning of his name underneath it. So let's get started, okay. All right, so I've kind of sketched it in pencil um, just so I have some guidelines, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. So the first thing we're gonna work on is the roof. And we're gonna make the beginning of the letter A kind of in a wide 
angle. So I'm gonna go down and then go to the top and do it again. Now to get the rest of the manger roof, we're gonna go right below that and we're gonna do the exact same thing, diagonally down on both sides. And then we're gonna connect it. Connect it here and connect it here. So now we have our roof. Then you're gonna do two straight lines down for the walls of your barn. There's one side. Here's the other side. Now to do Joseph and Mary, it's gonna be really simple. We're just gonna do, um, again, we're gonna do a diagonal line down on both sides. And then we're gonna put a circle on top to make the head. Same thing with Mary. We're gonna do a diagonal line down on both sides and put a circle for the head. Now, if you wanna add faces or hair, you can, but I'm just keeping it real simple. And then I'm gonna do the ground across the bottom. Now, to do the manger, you're gonna do a very small rectangle like that. And then you're gonna do the letter X for the legs of his bed. So here's one leg of the X, there's the other leg of the X. And then we're gonna put Jesus's head right here just so you can tell there's a baby in there. Now, if you want, you can give Mary arms and Joseph arms. You can give her hair. Give Joseph some hair. And let's put a star in the sky. Okay, so there's our simple nativity scene. You can add more to it or leave it just like this or you can color it. But under it, and this is the important part, we're gonna write Jesus's name, J-E-S-U-S, -S, Jesus, which means the Lord saves. And in Acts 4.12, it tells us that he saves us from our sins. Okay, I hope you enjoy.